Now, you're up in the mountains, so it's very foggy, it's uh, snowy, it's cold. Now, if you, you notice that guy who uh, just flew across there, he basically gave you a hint as to how you can get through the ravines. If you notice, when the wind picks up, you can ride the gusts of wind and snow over the chasm. But you have to time it just right according to both the audio cues and the visual. And the, uh, visual. There's Paul knows the cheat codes since he's the first <laughs> He doesn't have to die. Now, not all the creatures you have to fight. Like, for instance, there's a Wendell. He's eating one of his recent kills. You can just ignore him if you want, or you can go up and fight him. As long as you don't get too close, he'll leave you alone. But here's another one. He looks like he's hungry. Now, if you, I don't know if you notice the shadowing. Uh, right now, we're showing you two examples of the shadowing. Ragnar, uh, if zoom out, shows, has full shadowing turned on, so it's very detailed shadows. Uh, something we've added to the Unreal Tournament engine. Uh, but the Wendell he just killed had what we call a blob shadow around him. You have full control over the detail of the shadowing. You can either have no shadows, full shadows like with what you see on Ragnar, and they accurately bend over levels, as you just showed. Or you can have the blob shadows, which are simple, black, just simple shadows underneath the creatures like we had for the Wendell there. It's totally up to you how you want to do it based on your system specs and uh, what you'd like visually. One of the other things is, notice these trees, all the plant life and trees in the game react to your movements. So uh, when somebody bumps through a tree or moves through a tree, it starts to wiggle a little bit. In multiplayer, you can actually hide in the trees, and when someone uh, runs by, you can just jump out and attack. Are the cuts on the monsters, are they pre-rendered when you start slashing them? Um, well, we use a skeletal animation system for all the animations, and we're actually animating the bones. If you do want to kill these guys, one thing to the game is uh, you can use different creatures against each other. For instance, he just broke this Wendell out of this icy uh, cage there, and then uh, the Wendell just went after the goblins because Wendells eat anything in their path. So you can use creatures against each other. In the game. Ragnarok came, or when it comes, you're supposed to go off and fight against the gods in the service of hell. So basically, when you're wandering around Mosfelheim, you come across all these dishonored warriors. Now, they're undead, so if you just hit them, you do no damage. So you either have to cut off their heads or burn them. Now you can pick up those heads if you want to use them as uh, weapons. They don't make for very effective weapons, but <laughs> there's something in multiplayer about smacking somebody with their own head. <laughs> <laughs>